for him. Well deserved. And 100 to 94. You know what's impressive about the Raptors, besides all the stuff we showed you on the on the highlights, but essentially, three times in this six-game series, they held the Bucks under 100 points. One of those games went overtime, but it was 96 in regulation. I mean, Toronto's defense yeah. is very good, yeah. folks. You, you, I know you, that sounds good on for those analytical numbers, but this was a wake-up call for the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks earning your flaws show in the playoffs. Talking about my flaws? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. This thing where Milwaukee just gives the ball to Giannis and score against his own, it works. Work and I don't want to disparage other NBA teams. It works against the Hawks. It works against the Nets. It works against the Knicks. Well, that's not disparaging at all. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I know, I know. I you, know what you mean. You just can't give the ball to Giannis at the top of the key. Especially when you're in a best of seven series well, and, where you're and, seeing and, each and other every other day. Especially yeah. when he's getting guarded by Kawhi Leonard. You, what you happens know. also, Ernie, is, and Shaq, excuse me, what, what happens is the best of the best play. So we have to figure out a way to beat you. And now the kryptonite has entered the building. So next year, multiple teams will start to do this and play that way. So if you are Milwaukee, you're going to have to change some things up. And you know, credit to Nick Nurse for saying, because, you know, we all know this is, is a man's league. Hey, Kenny, uh, Chuck, you got him. Nick Nurse said, nope, we're going to put it in the zone. A little 3-2 zone, a little yep. high yeah, school college zone. Shaq, but Shaq. And put three, four guys at the top and say, hey, Giannis, you're going to have to kick it. Yeah, but also, Shaq, listen. Uh, that's the your wipe glasses. your glasses, not your, your forehead, glasses, man. Your glasses that's, are fucking up. That's my TV. napkin, yeah, man. You're dirty up my napkin, America. That's because I'm hot right <laughs> now. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Mike Bunos are going to take a look in the middle. It, it ain't about you said Nick Nurse played a zone. Bunos can't put him in that situation. He well, got, you got a long summer to think about it. You got, but I'm saying though, can well, it? Well, if you're a man to man, it may work. Yeah, because but I, remember, Boston played man to man. You know, game one, he started off slow, but, you know, once he made his NBA, adjustments. The NBA hasn't yeah, been a zone league, right? and so he tried it, league. and it worked. And it definitely worked, and so other people will try that for but multiple you get, but long you, But you, you have to put your players in position to be successful. I yes, go back to do. what you guys said at halftime, too, and you said if you're Nick Nurse, you got to feel good because you're not down double digits, and you said there's no way Milwaukee's going to continue to shoot 50% from three-point range. Second half, they went three for 16 Ernie, from deep to Ernie, the Bucks. The, these guys know, and we've been playing, we've all been around a long time. When you let teams hang around, bad stuff happen. They, they, they were up 13, I think it was the end of the first quarter. They were, they were only up seven at the half. Then they got that big lead in the third quarter. 15 with two minutes left in the third quarter. And then I think it was eight going into that. You're up, and that's a big difference between 15 and eight. There was that 22 to two bridge and that uh, that told the tale. Unbelievable, unbelievable game six as Toronto takes advantage of the home court heading to the NBA. Still good. No, but I thought like, <laughs> that I hasn't mean, changed. This guy is in a plan in another country. I mean, yeah. Exactly. That's amazing. So Durant had 51 in the first game these guys played. Wow. Uh, Curry didn't play the first game. Kawhi didn't play the second game. Raptors won them both. That means absolutely nothing. Yeah, sure. you know, we just, we just throw just, that out for here, there for you, information it, purposes. What, what, what I do see is Kawhi Leonard averaging 37. He didn't play one game, kid. No, but I'm saying that means he scores. He's shooting 58. He scores at a high clip because of the pace of the and game. And Durant's not playing. Yeah. So, um... So you gotta, thanks for that useless information. <laughs> that's uh, why I'm here. <laughs> a plethora of useless you gotta, information. You gotta, of that. Uh, let's before we talk about the uh, the finals matchup. Let's hear from uh, Mike Budenholzer, Bucks head coach. You guys were up 15 late in the third. They go on that 26 to three run. Just what did you sense from your guys during that stretch? Did you sense them tensing up, or what, how would you maybe diagnose the struggles in the half court too? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll go back and watch this game at least not for a while. Uh, a little bit of both, you know, it felt like we got out in transition. You know, I, I remember one big play, you know, Giannis, Giannis gets it on a, almost a lob and is at the rim and kicks it out and we miss a wide open three. And my guess is there's going to be some situations where we missed open shots and there's going to be some dry possessions where we either don't execute well enough, um, we don't maybe uh, share and pass the ball and play in a crowd. Um, you know, you just... You know, 26 to three runs, usually a little bit of everything. I will say Giannis is going to get better. <laughs> like to, to think for us and to be excited about his future at 24. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's just the easy narrative, easy, easy, um, 
narrative story that this is part of Giannis's stepping. But I think the thing that makes Giannis unique and exciting is, in our minds, we feel like he's going to get a lot better. He's at 24. Some guys are, you know, I don't want to say uh, they are who they are. And some of the great ones at 24 were just, and then they were the same at 30 and 32 and so on and so forth. Giannis, we feel like, has got a lot of room to grow. And I think that's probably um, our entire roster we feel excited about can grow. 60 and 22, best record in the NBA, number one seed overall, and it ends in six. Wow. In Toronto. Their, their roster could, tra- could change dramatically. Yeah, no doubt. They, they should bring everybody could. back. Well, it's, they it's can't bring be tough. everybody back. No, they can't. You got no, unrestricted they, with Malcolm Brown. They Brogdon. can't pay all them guys. You know, you got Mirachek, you got Middleton. It's his play option. He's probably going to opt out, I yeah. would think. You, you can't know, pay all them guys. Lopez is really huge for them. No question. This could be a whole different team. It's going to be, Kenny. You can't, pay, you can't pay all those guys. Who, That's amazing. Who do you make the biggest effort to, to keep on that team? Middleton. Middleton. You got to keep Middleton. You got to keep him. He's yeah, got to keep Middleton. Middleton and Lopez. I, I, no, you know what? Middleton, Lopez, and – well, Middleton, obviously. But then Brockton and with Lopez, those two guys are the stabilizing forces. So, like, man, because well, uh, even it, down the stretch tonight. It becomes about money. Right, when, when yeah, Bledsoe yeah, but, wasn't playing well, they had yeah, but they're going to have to split the, the money with them, too. Yeah, but uh, listen, this is a different team. Everybody don't want to split the money, Shaq. You're right. Hey, but everybody, Shaq, hey, everybody deserves to get paid. But do you I agree with you? You can't pay Shaq, everybody. Do you Shaq, think this is a different team? Yeah, you know, because I personally think that they should just pay me and Ernie. Okay. And you two should get the crumbs. Uh, I thought that's, that's the way, with I thought that's the way it was working. Hey, I'm about winning championships. Who's Who's going to win the finals? I got to go with Golden State uh, uh, experience. Uh, you know, they're playing very well now. You know, they play better when people doubt them. They play better when, you know, people disrespect them. They play better when, you know, for example, Clay not making all NBA team. He's going to be ready to play. Uh, Draymond's going to be ready to play. My favorite player is Steph Curry going to be ready to play. However, that boy Kawhi Leonard is the ultimate athlete. <laughs> and uh, uh, kudos to Kawhi Leonard because I'm watching him. He don't complain on calls. He don't make faces. The ultimate athlete. I'm, 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 I'm really happy for Toronto Raptors, and I just want a great series. But to answer your question, Ernie, because I'm a professional, I got to go with Golden State. We're going three to two to one here. So who you got? I'm gonna go. I, I, I agree with Shaq. Everything points to Golden State because I think when Kevin Durant got hurt, it gave them a new life to me. It gave them something to prove. Getting five times to the NBA Finals, Shaq's been there a couple, three or four times in a row. I'm talking about in a row, you know, back to back. It's difficult to get up at times. It, well, no matter what you do, they are up now, and they are mentally a, a, alert. And so, but Kawhi Leonard, as man, yeah. oh man, I, Shaq, I, I don't think I've ever seen. I, there, that and, might be, and I'll say it, this would you too. think it's as good as performance as Dream has de- done against San Antonio? Uh, Right on top of my head, he's in that conversation. Okay, there it is. And let me just say, there's no player in the NBA I'd rather have more than Kawhi Leonard. He's a drama-free superstar. This guy has 17 rebounds. How many guys? Career high. And he had, you remember last game, his career, he had his career high on assists. Yeah. He just wants to win, and there's never and any And the drama. offensive rebound yeah, down the, the stretch yeah. off and, the mid And, 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 never and he drama. always makes the right play. And, and what's going to be interesting, Ernie, he got a long time to get healthy. They don't play to Thursday. Right. He gonna be a lot because we and talk, a, and they're not traveling. Uh, they're not traveling, but to ask your question, go ahead. No, go ahead. Answer your question. I'm taking the Toronto Raptors. Okay. Well, okay, I got you. Uh, by the what way, you Greek freak. Okay, uh, stretching this game. Uh, what were you guys struggling with offensively? I mean, obviously they were in a roll, uh, scoring the ball, but what was the struggle for you guys in trying to get uh, good shots? Uh, you know, obviously we were uh, playing uh, real well you know, in the half and uh, in, and in the third quarter. Uh, we know uh, Toronto is a great team; they're gonna make they're gonna make runs. Uh, but you know, as a team, we just try to stay focused and um, try to move the ball, trust one another, execute. And uh, we knew that we knew that we we're gonna make a run, but. Um, no, obviously wasn't able to rebound the ball and uh, run transition, get the easy points. Um, so that's why we lost the lead. Uh, Giannis, uh, over here on your right. 
Steve Ashburner, NBA.com. Last year, after your last game, you said that you felt you were the best player, but it was clear that the defense, uh, the game plan was to stop you. I said that last year? Yes, you did. I don't remember that. To be honest with you, I don't remember that, but continue. Okay. The fact that we saw pretty much a similar situation, at least you believe you're the best player or near the best player on the floor, but the game plan is to stop you. What has to change for you? What has to change for your team to make that fail? Um, I don't think anything got to change. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we trust one another. Uh, and to, you know, uh, the game plan was to double team me, um, you know, make me not get a rhythm. But what I did was to trust my teammate, and uh, that's what I've been doing all year. And, if it's uh, for us to lose by doing that, by trust one another, by moving the ball, and uh, by doing what we'll be doing all year, you know, trusting our habits, uh, it's okay. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, I just try, try to stay aggressive, try to make the right play. That's what I'll be doing all year. That's what I try to do tonight. The season ends with four straight losses. Uh, Aaron Rodgers' team beat Chris Paul's team last year. That won't happen this year. Wow, Why? Because you know, Chris, the basketball players, we're going to rise up like the Raptors. Why? Because you're not on the team? Yeah, how come they didn't invite you? Uh, that's just rude. <laughs> okay. That's just um, rude, Ernie. So so we're we're nearing the end. We still got a couple segments to go here. But we, <sighs> we at this point, we emptied the saddlebags on stuff that we have um, that then we need to show. And one of our favorite things. What's one of our favorite things? Audio tunes. Uh -oh. It's another one? Uh, here's it here's our final one. audio <laughs> tune of the season, okay. and it's uh, <laughs> disturbing. Uh-oh. Chuck, why do you keep Vaseline in your belly button? I want to look good, Shaq. I don't be walking around with big ashy lips. Could you imagine all the players looking at him but, and he's going in to get... Oh, I did well, it on the down low. No, I did it on the down low. I did on the down low. What does that mean? Chuck. Why, a lot on the down low. why wouldn't you just keep that on the bench and so during the timeout you could do that and not have to put it in your belly button? There was no, nah. nobody, where, think, where are you going to put Vaseline? Ernie. But you, the nasty. trainer has it. I, and, the trainer's got, got it. You got more stuff than Vaseline, Ernie. But you got sweat on the Vaseline. Could you imagine? It's water soluble. It rolls off. <laughs> How often would you have to reload that thing? I did it before the game and uh -huh. at halftime. <laughs> yeah, you keep chicken in there too. <laughs> yeah, you get hungry in the middle of the game. I can't believe y'all. I can't believe how y'all want to make something so pure that made it disgusting. That's pure. Yeah, it's pure. Did you, hey, did you did you lend Vaseline to your teammates who needed it too? <laughs> <laughs> You're looking a little dry. <laughs> <Here>. <laughs> Too fun First to of all, can y'all you know what I noticed about that cartoon? No, 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 no. Put, put Ernie's body back. Yeah, up. yeah. I was just yeah. about to say that. No, Ernie, man. that's basically Ernie the most chisel, that's that's the realistic sex thing I've seen yeah, he's on all the time. Ernie, you ain't that chill, Jack. You ain't chill. Check, yeah. you ain't I, I, chill. Kenny, yeah. Kenny, Kenny, go on, tell him, Kenny. Uh, come on, Kenny, come, come on. Actually, come on, man. Don't put me in. Oh, you ain't seen me naked in America? Oh! That's your Ed McMahon. That sounds like another audio tune in the making. Every time, every time he walks into the locker room, he's like, "Hey, Kenny, Kenny, look at this. Look at my six pack." We got I, another segment too, don't we? I, got but a I, I don't, don't want to end the show on okay. a sad note. All right. Okay. So listen, uh, I just got this news. Rod B uh, Bramlett, the voice of Auburn basketball, was in a horrific uh, car accident tonight. Oof. His wife Paula passed away. Oh no! And he's in critical condition. So I just want oh, my man. Auburn family, Rod, get well. Sorry, I mean it's an awful situation, but I wanted Rod. Please uh, pass it on, Bruce Pearl, Steve Pearl, and my Auburn family. Yeah, oh. I have a shout-out that I'll do later. But you know what? I'll do it now just to kind of brighten it just back up. Happy graduation to Ryan Kingland, my nephew, graduated MBA school over at Dallas Baptist. So uh, congrats, Ryan. I have a shout-out to Ernie, to all the team members at TNT. Thank you for another wonderful year. We love you guys and miss you guys, and thank you very yeah. much. And I'm, we will, I'm glad uh, the season over. I want to see these people. I we agree. We will see them one more time when we come back because we also have to do some fishing. Do you have Vaseline in your belly button right now? No, I don't. <laughs> Y'all know these lips look good when they moist. Man, do you give it to you, teammates? You need to stop it, Charles. Yeah. Seriously. You know you, you see him in the locker room before, Kenny. <laughs> Why are you staring at him in the locker room? No, he, every time I come in, he's like, look at my six-pack. Look at my six-pack. <laughs> and a fan-voted NBA award to crown the House of Highlights Moment of the Year. 
Vote for your favorite moment now at M24 to see who wins. <laughs> yeah, I know you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, it was hard to notice that, I know, on that video. When you realize there's no more NBA oh, on TNT you, after tonight. Thank you, Elvis. We are done. Thank you, Elvis Jeffries the second. It's that time. It's time for EJ's Nino Saddle Night. Presented by no one. Unsullied by sponsorship, Shaq, since 1989, he was saying. Shout out to Al. All right, so we've got, we've got to send some folks fishing oh, for the last time this year. Oh, man. I'm going to miss you guys. And the Bucks. Kareem, Kareem uh, I ain't doing that. Well, I'm not disrespecting the cap. Uh, hey, that's, that may be one of the first times uh, I've been on a fishing boat. Well, the first time I've not been on a fishing In yeah. fairness, if they had had Kareem in the big O, they probably would have won this series. Uh, Paul Mokeski. Who was that? Mokeski. Paul Mokeski. Mokeski. Hey, that ain't Mokeski. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Mokeski. I remember that. The one that Charles. Oh, A.C. Green. <laughs> hey, Ken, Ted, Ted, Ken. Cars, man, Green. why? Kenny, like why are you shirt. on the boat, Kenny? Because uh, it's, it's his fit. It's his thing. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, figure out why there, A.C. Green is on that, the boat. There, really? there go Phil Dumpy. There goes really tan Portland Kenny. Hey, hey, shout out to my man, my friend, uh, not friend Dumpy, that's the coach. Uh, Ty Burrell Ty from Burrell, uh, Modern, Modern Family. Family. Why well, you look sleepy, Kenny? You went out? Yeah. Thanks, Todd, for having me on the show. That's I really like appreciate that. Who is the other guy? Or are you partaking in those Portland activities? Damian Lillard, A.C. Yeah, Green, Matt Gronick, the oh, okay. uh, creator of The Simpsons. Oh, Max Gronick, okay. Also, Kelly Stewart, Brian Tong, our Vegas crew. <laughs> That's, I don't know if they realize that they're uh, going uh, to the fishing there. Look yeah, at that. Crew. That's a, quite a haul oh, that's, there. I'll tell you what, that's an old TK picture. He ain't you're that, you're that young since the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you guys work your behind off all year. The we got crew. the best crew. The best. The best. The best. No, we don't, we don't have, have the, the best. Blue tank top. We don't have the best. Team. First of all, that is not Alex's body. Award winning. No, hey, that that's is not right. Alex Hoover's body. Yeah. I, I will know. He put his body on a good one. Give me a break, Alex. Yes, sir. One, two, one, three, three can't go. Cool. Action, I can't go. Cool. I mean to tell you. Ernie. I've been working out. All right. I've been working okay, out. Okay, Charles. Hey, hey, I see you, Charles. Charles. Your bod looks a little better than it normally hey, does, hey, too. Hey, yes, Alex does. only giving you good bodies. I'm not happy with that, Ernie. You look at yours. It ain't your body. Your body never looked like that. Yeah, we, also, we also want to shout out some, uh, some long-time um, folks who have worked with us who are uh, calling it a Turner career at this point. Yes. Uh, Tom Sahara and John Vandergrift, yes. Scott Cockrell, Andy. Rusty Mintz, Monica Griswold, Andy Ransom, Al Eastman, Rondi Triplett, and Hal Galima. Uh, Wait, Hal's gone? Yeah, we have uh, uh, enjoyed. Oh, uh, Hal, we love you, Hal. We, we love you, enjoyed Hal. the friendship. I mean, we, uh, and, uh, we need Hal around here because he's the oldest person. He makes us feel young. And so many years that uh, these oh, did, guys you have said Matt Hong? Well, Matt Hong also. Matt, yeah. Yeah. Hal, yeah, yeah. we love you, Hal. Love you too, yeah, Matt. Exactly. No doubt. Um, and there's Andy Ransom right Andy, there. Andy, brother. Andy Ransom looking handsome. I remember when oh. he didn't have a ponytail. That's how long I've known him. Wow. Yes, indeed. Andy, what else, Andy? Andy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey. We have, uh, as always, hey. you know, it's good to go to a place when you go to work that you know you're going to laugh before the day is over. Yeah. And uh, we do that every time. And we leave you tonight with uh, some of our favorite moments. From the we'll season, hey, guys. Y'all have a great summer. Just completed. I'll be Dude. golfing and fishing. London Malloy, Daddy's coming home. Reef, Kira, Kira. Good night, everybody.